What's up, people? GNR TV, streaming done right. It has all the channels that you would want. You know, the regular channels, channels from out of state, pay-per-views, sports, the movie channels, porn. It has over 2,000 channels in general. Over 2,000 channels. $20 a month for two devices now. Not one, but two devices for 20 bucks, and you get all that amazing stuff. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, there's no sports right now. There's not really many pay-per-views. Well, guess what? There is sports because UFC is back. And there's pay-per-views because guess what? UFC is back, and the rest of the sports will be back eventually, and it's worth it. This app is freaking amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I've had it for a little over a year now. I'm never going to get rid of it, and I love it. I love it so much. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, you need to get it. And enjoy the rest of the show. What's up, horror fans? It's your boy, Star Sturdy. I'm here with another fun video for you guys. Before I get into what I want to discuss, I want to welcome all the new members with open arms. Feel free to share anything and everything horror-related, including your own projects, podcasts, YouTubes, if you're in movies, anything horror-related, including funny memes, pictures, YouTube videos of a movie, trailers, movie ideas you might want to see reviewed on the podcast, movies you might want to see reviewed on the podcast. Anyway, so yeah, feel free to do all that. Just join the conversation. Keep, keep this group fun. And jumping into the next thing, I have 14 movies beside me. Beside me. The majority of them, 12 of them came from this place. They closed down. It's called Crazy, Nick Video, Crazy Nick's Videos. And uh, my wife and I bought a, about 12 DVDs from there. And all 14 of these movies are going to be given away in a giveaway. But uh, without further ado, I guess I can jump into it. That's what the movies are behind me. And um, the order that you see the pictures behind me going around, the movie titles, is the order I'm going to show you guys the movies. They're not going to be lined up with the movies, obviously, because this is already going. and I'm not showing you the movies yet. So, I mean, I could kind of bullshit around and just wait for the next movie to pop up. Because I know next is this, and then it's sinister and sinister, and then back to Walden. So maybe I'll try that. It doesn't mean that I'm going to stick to as far as... Because this thing is 10 seconds apiece, each other two, and then sinister, sinister, and then Walden back in the beginning. Let's just see if that happens. And then you got here Sinister, Sinister 2. And I will briefly tell you how I liked the movies that I've seen, which I think a lot of them, I don't know if I've seen a lot of these or not because I forgot the whole thingy. But uh, yeah, so let's start from the beginning. Walled In, Blu ray. Never seen this movie before. So I can't tell you what I think about it, but I hope it's good. <laughs> Cabin 28. Again, I haven't seen this movie either. I hope it's good. I do want to watch every single movie on this list if I've seen it or not. The Bad Nun, same as the last. I have not seen it. Do I want to see it? Of course. I just got to find a spot to put these things down on. The Quiet Place, <clears throat> I have seen it. It was a pretty good movie. I enjoyed it. It's something I need to rewatch, I think. I wasn't like a huge fan of it, but it wasn't a bad movie at all. Wishmaster. I need to finish this. Every single time my wife and I put this movie on, I fall asleep. And it's not because I'm out of boredom. I'm always laying down watching this movie. Why? I don't know. Salem's Lot. I have not seen this. Will I watch it? Yes. Will I enjoy it? I hope so. Trick or Treat. Loved it. Seen it plenty of times. Can't wait to see it again. Can't really say much more. I mean, I can, but I'll do a show on it. Shaun of the Dead, never seen it. I know it's a horror comedy. I do enjoy horror comedies. I will check it out. And, yeah. House of a Thousand Corpses. is going to upset a few people. I have not seen this yet. I know I would enjoy it. I'm going to watch it. I'll just say that. <clears throat> I'll just say I'm going to watch it. I've seen the sequel. It, Stephen King's It, miniseries. Seen it. Loved it. Tim Curry was a great Pennywise. Fun, enjoyable. I haven't seen it in a while, but I'd watch it again. 
It Chapter One. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. I thought they did a really good job. And I'll go in with It Chapter Two, too, as well. I think they did a really good job with both movies. They put them together well. I know there was some CGI issues and the aging issues of the kids, like de-aging or whatever. But other than that, I enjoyed the story. Loved Sinister 1 and 2. Loved Sinister 1 and 2. As a matter of fact, depending on what years they came out, they're in my top 10 of something. I definitely, I can definitely say that. They're in my top 10 or something. I love those movies. I love that type of movie. And it was just really, really entertaining. So, yeah. I have all those movies. I didn't pop up every single DVD and Blu-ray. But there's it. There's it. There's it. There's House of Thousand Corpse. Shaun of the Dead. Trick or Treat. Salem's Lot. Wishmaster. Sinister and Sinister 2. So, yeah. I'm not sure you guys the rest already. But, yes, my plan is to make sure that I watch all 14 of these movies. I'm not going to... I may check out the DVDs just to make sure they all work before I give them out. Just because I don't want to give you guys a scratch-up DVD or whatever. The ones that are sealed... They should be fine, but these, I'm sure they're fine. I can almost guarantee they're fine, but I'll watch them myself just a double and triple check. And yeah, that's about it. Um, Got to get ready for a podcast. Got to go prep, rewatch Pumpkinhead and do a podcast. And there is a podcast dropping at midnight for an uh, interview I did with her name is Chelsea from Abigail Haunting. If you haven't seen the movie Abigail Haunting, I highly, highly suggest you go watch that movie on Amazon Prime. Right once this video is over, go check that movie out and tell me what you think about it. I enjoyed it. I hope you do that as well. Thank you for watching. Please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video. Share my channel. Hit that person personalization button or notif notification button. Sorry, hit the notification button so anytime I drop a video, boom, you'll know. You'll be the first to see it. Um, I have a Facebook group, which I mentioned earlier in the video. Please join the group. Feel free to share anything and everything horror-related, including your own stuff. I have a Facebook page that's for the podcast and my YouTube channel and all that. It's for the Horror Search 30 pay, you know, podcast, like I said, YouTube channel and all that good stuff. When I updated you guys with some cool stuff. So please like the page. I'm on Twitch, horror underscore with underscore sir underscore sturdy. I will be streaming again soon. Streaming again soon. I haven't been streaming in a little bit. And I'll be on there again soon, streaming some horror games. Uh, let's see. I told you. Oh, I'm on Podbean, iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, anywhere you can listen to music or YouTube, you should be able to hear my podcast, including YouTube, but you can now watch me, watch the podcast. So, yes, just follow us at Horror Research 30 all over the place on those platforms I just mentioned. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that share, hit that like, hit that notification. And as always, I'll see you in 